Okay, today we're going to take a look at uh, Reg Tool. Reg Tool is a utility that uh, is responsible for registry repair and cleanup. It is a shareware product. It is has uh, the, fr the free use version. It has limited capabilities in the free free use version, but it does do some minor cleanup. Uh, however, if you pay the $35 for the registration, uh, it unlocks all the features. Uh, it will go through. We can now go through a, a quick cleanup with it. I uh, went through a cleanup on my own earlier, and uh, found that uh, it, this, it found over 500 errors in my system, and of course it cleaned them up very well. I've done a few installs and a few other things since then. Uh, so I kind of wonder, you know, after a couple of installs, if it's going to find any other problems. We'll see what happens. Uh, I also have noticed a, a performance increase. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this thing and see if it's, you know, see uh, what you're, what you're going to see when you work with this. So we we'll go ahead and open up Registry Tool, or Reg Tool, I should say. Okay, uh, you have a Registry Cleaner, a Junk Cleaner. Privacy Cleaner, Bad Block, and ActiveX Cleaner, PC Optimizer. It can do all your Microsoft updates and Adobe ad updates and also Java updates. Now here a little notice, a notice on this. Uh, the Registry Cleaner does find and repair different things. The Junk Cleaner gets rid of all those temporary files that are created whenever you're installing applications. Uh, those things never seem to get deleted and your hard drive eventually fills up with them and it's just more stuff to track on your hard drive, so it, it slows down your system eventually. Privacy Cleaner gets rid of the potential uh, for uh, somebody to do identity theft. The Block ba ba uh, Bad ActiveX is another uh, great feature. It uh, takes care of any harmful ActiveX ob objects. PC Optimizer does one-click optimization. Microsoft Updates, if you turn that on, then it'll find it, uh, all the updates for your system. Uh, Recently, I did some major updates on my system, so uh, I really don't need that. It'll speed up the, uh, the scan a little bit. I'm going to turn that off for now. Adobe updates and Java updates, uh, those are never a bad thing to check for. Uh, so, you know, we'll go ahead and we'll do a quick scan here and see what we've got. So, we'll go ahead and start the scan. And it's scanning through the registry now. And uh, let's see what it found. I mean, I haven't done... I've done a little bit of stuff to this computer since the uh, major cleanup that I did with this. Uh, like I say, it found it found 500 things wrong the first go round. Uh, it looks like it's still finding some things that are that are definitely wrong. Some things that I definitely want fixed. Um, you you know, always want to make sure your computer runs smoothly and runs well. And it looks like we found some more junk files. Uh, the first go round, it found over 300 of them. So uh, it looks like I have piled a few more things on my computer. So uh, I'm, I'm keeping my computer cleaned up and everything. And uh, this is an additional tool to use on top of using your regular uh, system utilities uh, to do regular maintenance. Don't ever uh, mess around and not do maintenance on your computer don't think it's just going to take care of itself because if you think that uh, you're really living in a, a pipe dream world for sure. Um, oh, it looks like it found uh, some different things that were wrong with it. Okay, uh, there's some ActiveX pro potential problems here. Uh, some privacy items. I didn't, last time I scanned it I didn't check for the ActiveX stuff. So it looks like there's some problems. I'm going to tell it repair all. Now it tells me uh, that if that it'll delete my history files, so I, I really don't want to do that on my web browser because I do use my history files quite a bit. So in this case, it says if I use ignore and they will not be deleted. So I'm going to tell it ignore and let it do the cleanup of everything else. So it goes through. It's doing its cleanup of the junk files. And like I say, I'm kind of surprised it found this much stuff within just a, a very short time. But uh, 845 problems were fixed. So we'll go ahead and tell it OK. Looks like we're in pretty good sh in good shape there. Um, the, the important thing is to remember that it has a lot of things that are built into it uh, to make your life a little bit easier. And uh, you want to make sure that you 
um, you know, avail yourself of of the the uh, you know the the utility that's here. So uh, what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and take a look. Uh, let's look at. I wanted to go ahead and quickly I'll go over a couple of things here, like the scan and clean. You got a one-click scan, which is what we've been doing. Registry cleaner, evidence cleaner, and junk cleaner to clean up your system. Backups, you can do a registry backup, or you can set a restore point. Uh, now, uh, most people end up having to go through system system uh, uh, restore and, and doing this, but this way you just do it in one place. You can optimize your PC, uh, you know, get a little better performance out of it, fix errors, uh, fix the ActiveX uh, things, tw even tweak memory, optimize your internet, and a smart di disk defrag. So basically, uh, getting the most out of it. Program manager, basically fixing your startup tools. Uninstall manager, getting rid of some programs and get rid of some, some items that are not uh, doing you any good. It's really great how a lot of these computers, when you buy them, have a lot of bloatware. Okay, then we've got IE Tools, uh, the BHO manage, Manager, uh, basically fixing your browser helper objects and your plugins. Uh, then, of course, your Microsoft updates. That's a different deal entirely. Uh, and it'll go through here and check, check to see what updates I need. Uh, in this case, I'm not really going to worry about it. I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. Because I've got, like I say, I've updated recently. It's going to scan through there. It'll probably find two or three minor updates. I prefer personally to have a little tighter control on it, although it does let you select and deselect after it scans. So I want to thank you for uh, joining me on this brief look at uh, at uh, Reg Tool. Uh, I want you to have a great day. And if you're needing computer help and information, uh, you can always come to my website at home.earthlink.net forward slash tilde crabby. Or you can Google or Bing me at Krabby's Place. Just look for the entry that says, Welcome to Krabby's Place. And have a great day.